Hello ladies and gentlemen, Adrian here for DigitalDojos.com and today we're going to be taking a look and overview of the service known as Unity. My thanks go to the folks over at Unity for supporting Digital Dojos and making this video possible. Of course, you can head over to the video description down below for more information or head over to getunity.com to get everything you see that's covered in this video. So let's start off by talking about what Unity is. Unity is a free and easy to set up application, and that's right, free, that allows you to stream, access, and share your files anywhere and at any time. You just need a Unity server installed on your Mac or PC, so that's the first step you want to do. Go ahead and download the installer. We'll talk about setting up the server in a second. Uh, and that computer has to be connected to the internet and always on. If it's in sleep mode, that's fine. As long as it's on and connected to the internet, your files will always be streaming. We're not talking about syncing. We're not talking about uploading or any storage limits. It simply streams from your server to your mobile app as you request it. So when you're, whether you're on Wi-Fi or cellular, you can request it on the mobile Unity app. And that supports iOS as of right now. So iOS-based devices, however, they are working on a Google Play or Android version. I was told to be sure to wait for that if you're on the Android end. And then you can simply access your files anywhere on the go. What's so great about this is you don't have to worry about planning. Unity just does it all for you. It unifies your music, photos, videos, files, all of that across your devices. Whenever you, again, need access to them, you can simply go ahead and jump into your Unity app and then get access to them. You designate which folders are shared. You can even then share files privately and securely amongst Unity. Really great for personal usage, really great for you know professional. If you ever need to get access to your files on the go, it is that simple and easy with Unity here. And a couple other things to mention here, they take privacy at the utmost concern. Your communication is 100% encrypted on both ends. Not only that, they can never see the files that you are storing in the cloud. It, it, again, it's just a real great experience. And again, privacy is at the utmost uh, priority when it comes to your Unity usage. You also have AirPlay access, so you can easily AirPlay content over to your Apple TV on the big screen. So let's say you're streaming music or videos from your home media server, and then you have, you're connected to Wi-Fi and somebody's Apple TV, you can stream that. You can upload pictures from your computer to Instagram. So if you're like me, you take pictures with your DSLR and it's such a hassle to transfer it over to iOS, don't worry about that. Directly from Unity, you can go ahead and upload to Instagram. GoPro videos as well, you can view those. And if you have Lightroom libraries, it's also support as well. So again, go ahead and download the Unity server and then go ahead and take a look at the preferences on the setup here. So this is what your preferences are gonna look like and your locations are essentially all the files that you want Unity to be able to stream. In this case, I have it designated to my pictures, music, documents. You can have it do your whole hard drive. However, the more files you have, the longer it's gonna to take to scan. So you simply add the locations of the folders that you want Unity to constantly be streaming. It also supports Lightroom and iPhoto or Apple Photo libraries. You can also adjust settings here to see the devices that you have registered. In this case, I have my iPhone and my iMac here. And you have the option, which I recommend, to have it launch at startup. That way, Unity is always running and you don't have to worry about that. Once you've done this, go ahead and go ahead and install the app on your iOS device. In this case, for my iPhone, I have it installed, so let's go ahead and jump to that. So here we have Unity on iOS. Really simple and clean setup here and interface. So from here, you go ahead and log in, of course, to your Unity account. You'll register your device, and then you have access to your Unity server. You can see what's currently playing, if you have anything playing or streaming here. You can jump into music, for example. I'll go into my artist. And you can see it pulls in all my metadata, pulls in my album art, pulls in the track info. This is all from my iTunes library, keep that in mind. And I can go ahead and stream Adele's hello here, just like that. And you can see it's simple, it's working here. It's even working via AirPlay right now since I'm uh, you know, connected to my iMac speakers. But keep in mind, you can do this easily with an Apple TV as well. Super simple, super easy. I can go back here. Uh, you can also filter your results. So for example, if I'm in albums here, you can see I can click on, for example, 1989, and then click on the top right to filter my results here to see downloaded files, folders first, or available files. Going back here, we can go ahead and showcase another example. Let's go ahead and showcase an example with video. When it comes to video, the only restriction is if you have a DRM content, for example, I have these uh, TV shows that I've downloaded from iTunes or bought off iTunes. If they are DRM, you will not be able to stream it with Unity. That's more to do with DRM content rather than Unity itself. However, for this other video that I have here, I simply tap on it keeping in mind that this is streaming from my media server, but you don't need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi. You can be on 3G or 4G and easily stream it as long as your Unity server is on. And as you can see here, the video starts playing, simple and easy. That's really great because these can be movies or TV shows that you have on your Mac or PC and then easily stream them over to your phone. Even a GoPro video, you can view that all in high def. Super simple there. Photos is another great example here. You can go ahead and tap into your photo libraries 
and I'll go ahead and go into one of my libraries here. And as you can see here, I can click on any of these photos. So let's go ahead and click on one here. And you can see it opened it up here. I am just streaming this again from my Unity server. But if I want to locally download it to my phone, that way I don't have to worry next time coming in, coming up to it to have to uh, restream it over. I can just click on this down arrow right here in the bottom left and then download the content to my phone. So that's going to go ahead and save it to my Unity device locally here. So when I go back, you'll see it has a little arrow along with those other pictures that I downloaded here. So I have instant access to any of these photos because they're saved locally on my device via Unity here. You also have sharing options, you'll notice, so you can easily share out to friends or open it in a iOS uh, menu here if you want. You also notice you have an option for sharing files, which is really great because you can actually go ahead and securely share files from your Unity server to somebody else. And what's really great about this, again, is it's a top priority to have it be uh, private and secured. When you share a file, they expire in seven days and they're never uploaded online. Uh, and you can unshare anything at any time. So shares are streamed on demand, but they cannot be downloaded or reshared. So that's something to really emphasize there when it comes on a privacy angle. You have the ability to search for files via Unity, and of course, jump into your settings here when you can adjust a couple things. You'll see disk usage for the files that you're saving locally to your phone here. You can set a pin lock, again, another security aspect. So even if somebody has physical access to your phone, they, and they get through your original lock screen, they still need a pin lock to get into the actual Unity app if you set that up. You also have sharing options for Facebook and contacts here to share out your uh, you know, content, of course. And that's how simple and easy it is to use Unity. And you can go ahead and you know, invite friends, share files with them very simply, very easy, and 100% free, ladies and gentlemen. That's the best thing about this. So that all said again, ladies and gentlemen, Unity is this really amazing service that is 100% free, 100% private and secure, and 100 times useful uh, you know, when you need those files and you need access, whether it's for work, personal usage, streaming, media, videos, photos, music, to your device, you don't want to take up storage on your device at you know at a free price point. Who's to argue here? Unity is just a really great service, definitely worth checking out. Head over to getunity.com for more information. Go ahead and install it and download it on your iOS devices as well as your Mac or PC. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up or like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Comment with your feedback down below. And as always, for more information for the full article I wrote up in Unity here, head over to digitaldojos.com. As always, thanks a lot for watching.